welcome back to my channel. Today we are making bagels. Um, you're probably asking Tiff, you haven't been on YouTube, you haven't posted anything for like a month. And my answer would be, you're right. I was way too busy spending all my money on concert tickets and Quidoba, which I, I don't regret. But um, now I'm back, I'm making bagels and it's Thanksgiving break, so hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. And I wanna take advantage of having a full kitchen instead of just a microwave and mini fridge. So here we go. I have this recipe that I use. There's a lot of time in between the steps, so maybe put on a movie to go back to. I'll probably watch a Hallmark movie. It's actually not as complicated as you might think for making bagels, so I'm gonna show you what to do. So first, your ingredients are two teaspoons active dry yeast, one and a half tablespoons granulated sugar, that's what's in this thing, one and a fourth cups warm water, it's in my sink so I don't have it right now, and three and a half cups bread flour, you specifically need bread flour, not just like all purpose flour, and one and a half teaspoons salt. You're gonna take a half a cup of warm water, so let me grab that. Okay, so I got half a cup. In half a cup warm water, oh, okay, so I need a bowl. Do you guys like my Halloween shirt? On November 30th. So you take half a cup warm water, just put it in a bowl, and then you're gonna take the sugar, so that's one and a half tablespoons, and guess what? This guy, this is two tablespoons. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna just take like three fourths of this. That looks about good. Oop, that looks about good. And the two teaspoons active dry yeast. So again, that's two teaspoons active dry yeast. It has to pop, ready? God, I can't get it. Oh, and it got all over, that's cool. So you want two teaspoons. And the key is to not stir. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. You can't stir it. You're just supposed to let it sit for five minutes. So what time is it? 7.46 p.m. Five would be 7.51 p.m. I can still do math. Um, yeah, let me show you what it looks like. This is the yeast and sugar and water just sitting. It looks pretty weird. I feel like that's not enough water, but we'll see. Now this is one of the first times that you just kind of sit and wait. So again, I could go put on a Hallmark movie, but only a, it's only been one minute. So I probably should go put on a Hallmark movie or an episode of something, but really it's only five minutes. So who cares? Um, you know, what? while I'm doing that, I can mix the flour and salt in a large bowl because that's the next step. So here's my large bowl. Mix the flour, three and, oh, sorry. I just shook the yeast thing. Three and a half cups of flour. One cup. Two cup. Three cup. I didn't notice it until now, but like you can feel the difference in bread flour, it's like a lot denser than all purpose flour, and that's kind of cool. Maybe only I care, because I'm a baker. <laughs> so you got a lot of flour, three and a half cups in there. And how much salt? Just one and a half teaspoon salt. One and a half. This is a horrible view, but we have one more minute on the yeast thing, so it's perfect. You can't really see it, and you just have to accept that. But basic stuff, I'm just mixing flour and salt. You're gonna make a well in the middle. Well, well, well. So I'll show you that. And it's time to start. 
mixture of yeast, so I'm gonna show you that. We let this yeast and sugar sit in the water for five minutes, and now we're just stirring until it's all dissolved. Why is it not dissolving? I feel like that's maybe good enough because I'm lazy, so. Now, if you'll see, this is the well that I made in the center. And you're just gonna pour in the yeast. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, okay, let me get this. Now you're just gonna add a third cup warm water. And this is the weird part because it says, depending on where you live, you need to add anywhere from a couple tablespoons to about a fourth a cup more water. Um, I think because like altitude and stuff, I don't know, but you want a moist and firm dough after you have mixed it. So I add in the third cup of water and then I'm just gonna mix and stir it. And I don't think I've ever needed more, like a lot more water. See, I've only made bagels twice. Maybe I do need a lot more water. Okay, this is like completely flour. I'm just gonna add in a little bit at a time. And just see what it does. Like that might have done it or not. I'm gonna show you. It's just very, very stringy and like not. Moist and firm at all. So. Yeah, I need like more water. Like, I don't know what's going on. There's that. After I just got done saying, I don't think I've used that much more water. More water. I just put a lot in, so I hope that didn't completely ruin it. It's like sticky, but not the way I want it. So more water. but also firm and stiff. I don't, I would say it's smooth. I would say it's elastic. Firm? I don't know. 
I'll add more flour. I would say this is pretty good. So the next thing is that we have to coat a large bowl with oil. I don't know what oil it kind of means. Like, do I do canola oil? Do I do olive oil? I am not sure. So, canola, I want to say? I guess I'll do canola. I'm just going to use the same bowl from before. I'm going to take a paper towel, put my oil on it. So then you put the dough in there, turn the dough to coat it, so you're just like, you know what I mean? Although I don't think I put enough oil in there. It's both supposed to be lightly brushed, but I think it's pretty good. And now you take a damp, a damp dish towel cover it and then you let it rise in a warm place for one hour. So, taking a dish towel. Okay, now it's damp. Covering it. Okay. Covering it. So you let it sit for an hour and then it's basically going to double in size. So I'm going to go put a Hallmark movie on or something and I'll see you back in a I just started this Hallmark movie called Right, like with the W, before Christmas. One, it has Chad Michael Murray in it, so. Look at how cute Chad Michael Murray is. Look. Ha! So cute! I love Chad Michael Murray. I'm a One Tree Hill fan, and so I already know this is going to be so good. And also, Tori DeVito is so good. Um, but look at this. He's not adopted. That's not Tommy Tris. He's an optician. An optometrist goes to med school. He fits people for glasses, which is important if you can't see. It's people for glasses. <laughs> like, glasses are important? Are you kidding me? Okay. There's this other dude that just popped into the movie. Oh my god, his name is Jax, J-A-X. And he is an ex-boy band star, it seems like, who's now doing a solo career. I'm into that. You guys, I think this is like five love stories in one movie. Oh my god, Chad Michael Murray is a photographer in this. You know what trope I love to hate or hate to love? I don't know. But the, <laughs> the girl thinks the guy is taking her to dinner to propose. And he just dumps her. <laughs> I think that's what's going to happen. He's going to dump her ass and that's horrible. It's horrible. The girl sent um, the pop star dude, Jax, a freaking Christmas card. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to write Niall Warren a freaking Christmas card. Why is Chad Michael Murray such a freaking cutie? Oh, my God. He, oh. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's so cute. I love him as a brunette. He's so cute. She said, I sent the cards to the most important people in my life. This dude's mom who taught her music, her brother, her best friend, her aunt, and the dude in the boy band. <laughs> if that ain't me. <laughs> I literally have no idea how this boy band dude fits into the rest of the movie, but I am so here for it. Oh my God, he's talking about his boy band days. This shit is so cute. If I don't get a love out of a Hallmark movie, they are so cute. Okay guys, it's been an hour, so. Oh my God. Look how much that has risen. So it's doubled in size, which is good. That's what you want. So now you're gonna take it, put it back on the cutting board. So 
And then you're gonna split it into like eight sections. So I'm just gonna split it in half and then quarters. And then eighths. And this is what you're gonna make the bagels out of. So now I have eight of these dough balls. You want to take a dough ball and press it gently against the countertopper. Okay. So it's like this. So it's like kind of flat. So once you have all eight kind of like in like uh, these like disc kind of shapes, you're going to coat a finger in flour and just press your finger into the center of the dough to form the, the ring. So this is what your raw bagel is gonna look like. And then you put it on a sheet. It says oil, but I don't do that, so I'm doing parchment. I would love to have like a donut party where like I just make like a billion of these. Oh, I did flour. Like a billion of these. And then you just eat bagels. You're gonna cover that with a damp kitchen towel and allow that to rest for 10 minutes. So you're doing 10 more minutes of a damp kitchen towel. Which means I get to go back to my homework. Okay, so I forgot to set a timer, but it's been more than 10 minutes. So. And now you're gonna preheat, well I should've done this before the 10 minutes, but you're gonna preheat the oven to 425. And while that's happening, you're gonna take a large pot of water and you're gonna boil that on the, uh, on the stove. Okay, it's finally boiling guys. So what you're gonna do, you take a spoon like so, and you just put it and then you lower it. Okay, and I'll do like three at once, and then you just set a timer for one minute, if I can get the timer, it's not letting me click it. Well, please! Well, now I can't time it, but... How do I work this? Alright, well now it's been like 30 seconds. Okay, and then you flip them. Oh my... another minute. Yep, burnt myself. Then you take them out and you put it back on the pan. Because after I boil them all, we're going to bake them. So this is them. This is what they look like just boiling away in there. This is what, these are the three that already got boiled. So there you go. Okay, so once all the bagels are boiled, then you get to put your stuff on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put garlic on half of them. Because I've done that before and it's good. See, I just sprinkled garlic on those four. The other four, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna make them cinnamon and raisin. them in. This is me trying to shove raisins in the bagel. Okay, so I'm just shoving 
raisins. This better be good. And then I'm gonna just do cinnamon, sprinkle on. Okay. Okay, so these are my bagels. These are the cinnamon raisin ones. And then these are the four garlic ones and we are just gonna pop that right in the oven. Put these in the oven. guys this is the end result of my bagels my mom says I should have put the raisins in before I boiled them because they're just kind of sitting on top like that but I think they'll be good and if I eat one I'll let you know So the next thing is we have to coat a... So now am I gonna... La, 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 la. There's this other dude that just popped into the dude... The... 